there is nobody that is not waiting for something someone might not be waiting for what you're waiting for but they have something they are also waiting for hi beautiful people welcome once again to my youtube channel my name is bisola ayadele in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you five things to do while waiting to so everything we see and admire there is a process to every celebration we we see and talk about there is a process most times we see the events oh the beautiful wedding the beautiful naming and the beautiful graduation it's the graduation season anyway we see those events and we are like oh beautiful wonderful well done kudos good job but before that event comes a series of processes that culminates together to that final event you are seeing and celebrating the process most times is the part we do not see we all see the event and celebrate but we do not see the process this process is what we can term waiting most times it's not done in front of everyone it's done you know behind closed doors in the middle of the night where people are sleeping and you know the labels they are all usually behind the scene have you watched the back scene of a movie that you love so much that you really enjoyed or you've even been in a drama group if you have you know that so much you know repetitions go on behind the whole stage behind the whole you know glory and beauty that we watch on screen even this video i'm making now so much has gone into ensuring that you are able to get this in a digestible form so the 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 process is what we can term waiting and waiting is something that is common you know it's it's just in everything that we can see around us to start a business there's a waiting time there's a process to go to school and graduate there is a process all those processes are the time of waiting now when it comes to real life issues like a single lady waiting to get married or a married couple waiting to have their own children you know the the waiting usually seem endless because there's an expectation of of yourself for yourself there's also an expectation of the society or your family from you oh it's time you're getting old you're 29 you're 30 you're 31 what are you doing with your life if you get too rich nobody's going to call you all of that you know so there's an expectation all these laying pressures on the waiting process but waiting does not mean denial usually at the end of a process there will be an event depending on how the waiting season goes right so in today's video i want to be sharing with you five things to do while you are waiting number one thing you need strength to wait you need strength why do you need strength you need strength for the new phase of the event because um it's it's like a cycle so at the end of that event that you are waiting for you start another cycle you start another process all over again so you need strength to carry you through to that stage and then after that event you still need strength to continue just like mothers <laughs> being a mother like I, I, I can go on and on about this you know while we are from from the day we find out that we are pregnant we are like oh you are joyous for the moment and then when the old you know morning sickness and all kicks in when you have to go to antenatal or where you have to take pills or exercise and do all those other things that will make your baby fine you are anticipating like oh when will i be done with this i'm tired my body is changing this is happening and most times first time mothers you are not even prepared of for the processes that come after we have you know delivered the child that one is just a total new ball game so you need strength in the time of your waiting you need strength and how do you get the strength 
the bible makes us understand that those who wait upon the lord shall renew their strength so if you're waiting for something in particular you're waiting for 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 your wife for your husband for that home for that child to come back home you're just waiting for for your business to get off the ground you're waiting for your for your app to get the recognition it needs and all of that you're waiting for something you need strength for the time that that event you're waiting for will occur and for the next cycle so you get that strength first off by waiting on god and praying you spend so much time praying especially praying in the spirit because as you pray in the spirit you receive strength you receive strength in your inner man you receive strength you, for now you might even be thinking like, what will i need the strength for but by the time that season comes in you might not be able to you know pay so much attention in that area and what you have built will now come to play right so it's like seed and harvest so two know exactly what you're waiting for know exactly what you're waiting for what is the particular thing you're waiting for don't be like like a wind being tossed to and fro don't be like that know exactly what you're waiting for let it be that today if we ask you what are you waiting for you're able to say tomorrow you are consistent in what you're waiting for and when you know exactly what you're waiting for it will shape your prayers it will shape the words that come out of your mouth oh i'm waiting for my my twins yeah god can exceed your expectation right he's even the ceo of exceeding expectations but know exactly what you're waiting for not like this, ah, even if i just see one boy i'll be so happy tomorrow i don't even mind if it's just a girl next tomorrow like, ah and go get somebody triplet me too oh, i want triplet ah, ah, get determined and know exactly what you're waiting for you know have a, a desire and you that's that's the desire you lift up to god in prayers and you will be able to know if your desire is what he also desires is it in alignment is it in, with his will if he's not then he's able to you know download his will or should i say upload his will into you then you accept his will as your own so know exactly what you're waiting for you're waiting for a wife you know, what what kind of wife are you waiting for what kind of wife does your destiny require so that when the person comes you won't even be so blinded which in your waiting that you are not able to see the person so know exactly what you're waiting for you're waiting for a job what kind of job what what's the particular job you're waiting for it shapes your prayers it shapes your confession number three seek those who waited and got their harvest seek those who waited and got their harvest why is this so important it brings about encouragement for you through your waiting season when you see someone who has also waited like you or who has waited in the time past and then they eventually got the harvest you know hearing their testimonies hearing from them will strengthen your own faith to actually with like god that did this for for this person is definitely going to do mine you receive strength you receive wisdom also you you are able to know the wisdom they the the wisdom that was available for them during their time you are even able to learn from their mistakes and what they did and what they did right and what they didn't do right so this will help your waiting time and also encourage you so for an example in the bible is um, mary you know after the angel appeared to her and gave her so much words about the birth of jesus and and then she was asked to go see elizabeth elizabeth you know had been waiting she was already old and, and mary do the family members got there and then there was a prophecy from her you know all of those things just brought about the the courage she needed for her, her next season which was the pregnancy of jesus so you need to seek those people who through faith and patience obtained their promise <laughs> but the fourth thing to do while waiting is this do not complain do not complain it's so easy 
well you are with especially in this uh, media season where there are so many pictures and videos of people uh, what you're waiting for you just see somebody celebrating the same thing and you're like ah god god when god when am i going to also celebrate like this and you know there's that tendency to go that route complain and compare yes complaining leads to comparison in complaining you start comparing yourself with those other people that are getting whatever it is that you're waiting for so don't subscribe to complain don't subscribe to complain when you complain when you grumble you, it, it's like you're rooting out your seed huh it's like you're digging out the seed nothing you're not able, you're not going to be able to get anything you won't get the, the seed and you won't also get the harvest hello we don't want that at the end of the waiting season at the end of the process we want an event that will be celebrated right so you're not permitted to complain tell yourself i'm not going to complain i'm not permitted to complain i am not going to complain right so if you're not complaining what does god expect of you the last thing i'm going to be sharing is this rejoice i say again rejoice philippians 4 verse 4 tells us it says rejoice i say again rejoice like it's a command and it's absolute rejoicing so in place of complain have joy let joy just flow from you let it exude from your heart and from your talk from your face from your looks you know a few days ago i was just thinking about um the phase i've been in recently and then the word that was on my heart was no more old story no more old story i believe and i hold on to that word that no more old story what do i do with the word i confess it i rejoice over it i pray it i ask for direction that is the way to go so when you're rejoicing it's it's like you're, you're watering the seed you're watering the seed when you rejoice when you rejoice you're watering the seed and you're opening up yourself for the instructions you need for your next season all right so these are the things that we can do while waiting there is nobody that is not waiting for something someone might not be waiting for what you're waiting for but they have something they are also waiting for so don't despair don't lose hope don't be disappointed in god that's it yes don't be disappointed in god that ah, god i thought i thought serving you would make this easy i thought serving you will bring this to me i thought serving you meant this would be all right and all of that i thought serving you will will, will make all these things go away don't be disappointed in god he is still god and he is able ever ready he said i'm the god of all flesh is there anything impossible for me no nothing is impossible for this god he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can think or ask imagine anything you can imagine god is able to exceed it so what are we saying you wait for your promise wait for it and it's going to come big i mean come big come loud come great come gloriously for you just ensure you are waiting right ensure you're waiting right the law is set by god that seed time and harvest shall not cease seed time and harvest shall not cease so i leave you with that word there's the seed time and there is the harvest wait for your harvest continue to water your seeds wait for your harvest Please like, share, subscribe, and invite your friends to join the community. <laughs> See you!